Okay, Ron, enough's enough. Let's talk plans for Diane's baby shower. Dear God, woman. Three main activities, baby bingo, baby food tasting, and my personal favorite, baby onesie decorating station. I'm gonna make mine look like an astronaut. What are you doing up there in space, baby? Oh, so cute. Okay, I have some gift ideas. I was looking at a very adorable stroller. We already have a stroller. Oh, shoot, really? I'm gonna have to think of something else. <gasps> oh my God, whose baby is that? That would be mine. Guys, get in here! Ron has a baby! Oh, Ron, cool baby. Thank you, Andrew. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to my son, John, middle name redacted, Swanson. John was born some time ago, weighing multiple pounds and several ounces. Much like his father, he is a fan of silence. Please keep your voices down. How am I supposed to keep my voice down when you had your baby? And you didn't tell me that you had your baby! Why would you need to know something like that? Why would I? Oh, my God. I have not even sent Diane a gift. She's just walking around, wondering why I haven't sent her a gift yet. Should we do something? Just let her tire herself out. If you need anything from us, Ron, please just let us know. Actually, there is something. Could one of you please stop by the pet store and pick up some fish food for me? When did you get a fish? Oh, goody, you're all here. Now, I know I'm not supposed to talk about my campaign in the office, but last night I made a decision about who should be my campaign manager. This is a huge job. This is gonna require a lot of late night one-on-one -on -one jam sessions with me, and we're gonna bounce ideas off of each other. You're gonna have to take calls from me anytime, day or night. The person I have chosen is, drum roll please, Ann Perkins. Yep. Hey, give it up for Ann. Oh. Good choice. Leslie, I don't know the first thing about running a political campaign. Oh, Anne, you beautiful tropical fish. You're smart as a whip, and you're cool under pressure. You've resuscitated a human heart in your bare hands. No, I haven't. You haven't? No. You will. You're that good of a nurse. What about Ben? I mean, he ran for mayor at 18 and won. Ben is poison of my campaign. Our relationship is the reason why my advisors pulled out. I... Anne, don't listen to your head or your heart. Just look at my eyes and say yes. Okay, yes. Yes! I believe in you, Anne. Thank you. And your first job as my campaign manager is to start dressing like one. I don't want to have this conversation again. Again? You just hired me eight seconds ago. Wow, you're doing a really bad job. Okay, I don't want to overhype this, but presenting da, 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 the new City of Pawnee website, totally revamped. You can pay for parking tickets, you can apply for a business license, and the best part is we are putting up an online poll so people can pick the new town slogan. Hey, look, a panda! Whoa. Yeah, that's just some mascot thing the designer put up on the front page, but more importantly, you can now apply for a utility tax refund online. Wait, the panda's name is Peebo. Peebo. <laughs> look, he can even play ping pong. What? Oh, what play? No, me first, me first. Oh, I'm, that's it. Nice, Ben worked really hard on this, okay? Let's look at the online poll. It's gonna be a cool way to choose our new town slogan. <gasps> the panda holds the paddle with his tail? I wanna play. Congratulations, Ben. This is truly a fine panda game you made. Well done. What else does he do? I think if you click on the bamboo, he puts on a top hat. Ta -ta! What? <laughs> I love you, Ben! So while they repaint the lines in the parking lot, we're asking everyone to do street parking. I'm not street parking my Mercedes. Well, everyone is. I'm doing it. Because nobody wants to steal a Saturn. All right, uh, moving on to recycling. <sighs> um, you OK, Ron? Just a little tooth pain. I'm fine. Continue. OK. Each department will be getting blue bins. <sighs> do you need to go to the dentist, Ron? I don't like dentists. Just a second. No, 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 <laughs> so, who broke it? I'm not mad, I just want to know. I did. I broke no, it. No, no, you didn't. Tom? Don't look at me. Look at Ben. What? I didn't break it. Huh, that's weird. How'd you even know it was broken? Because it's sitting right in front of us and it's broken. Suspicious. No, it's not. If, if it matters, probably not, but. 
April was the last one to use. Liar! It. I don't even drink that crap. Oh, really? Then what were you doing by the coffee cart earlier? I used the wooden stars to push back my cuticles. Everyone knows that. Okay, Jerry. Okay, let's not fight. I broke it. Let me pay for it. Run. No. Who broke it? Ron. Donna's been awfully quiet. Really? Oh, yeah, really. Oh, now, my God. Say Donna. I, I, I broke it. It burned my hand, so I punched it. I predict 10 minutes from now, they'll be at each other's throats with war paint on their faces and a pig head on a stick. Good. It was getting a little chummy around here. OK, everybody, latest poll is Newport, 40%. Leslie, 32%, with everyone else way back. Now, this debate is our best chance to close that gap. Chris, Anne, and Tom, you guys will be talking to reporters, providing facts, general spin. Spin team! <laughs> this is the best possible job for me. I can literally make anything sound positive. Your house just burned down, and you lost all your money in the stock market. It's a chance to start over. Fire is cleansing. And true wealth is measured by the amount of love in your life. If I had to have anybody tell me that I had cancer, I would want it to be me. Ron, April, and Andy, you'll be throwing a party for our biggest donors. Ooh, I can't believe our house is going to be full of rich people named Dottie and Todd and Rick. I is the menu all set? Yes, I will be providing several slabs of my world-famous Swanson ribs. And I will be providing my world-famous $100 lap dances. Sweet! No. OK, the election is in two weeks. The debate is in nine hours. Let's get to work. Yeah! I need you guys to come to the snake hole lounge tonight to help me with something. Yeah, no, tonight's not uh, good. Sure. No can do. I'm on a cleanse. Please, this is important. I'm launching my new high-end Kahlua-style liqueur, snake juice. Sounds like you took a snake and twisted it like a rag until its blood and guts came out. <laughs> Ooh. What does Kahlua-style mean? I mix a bunch of alcohol together, added some sugar and coffee, and some other junk, and it kind of tastes like Kahlua. I can only drink warm tap water with cayenne pepper. Fine, then don't drink it. Just get other people to drink it, OK? Meeting in one hour. If you don't make it, you're on my dunzo list. Oh, what's a dunzo list? It means you and I are dunzo. Hanging out, getting food together, dunzo. You want to come over to my house and play video games? Dunzo. Hey, Tom, you want to come play putt-putt with me? No, we're dunzo. Hey, we gotta make that meeting. Okay, Jerry, what have you chosen to put in the time capsule? These are my mother's diaries. Wow. Yes, yeah, she lived in Pawnee all of her life and recorded everything she ever did. Yeah, so it's, you know, kind of like a living document about the town. Hmm. A disappointingly good idea from Jerry. Better than good, Jerry. Perfect. Give me that. January 18th, 1964. Gerald starred in his school production of Peter Pan. He was a beautiful Tinkerbell. <laughs> oh, it was an all boys school. ¿Qué está pasando? Jerry se viste como una princesa. <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> hey, Leslie, I have an idea. Why don't we put Eduardo in there and seal the top so that he suffocates and dies? <laughs> okay, Tom, you're up. For my item, I chose a picture of my ex girlfriend, Lucy with the mustache drawn on her face and stink lines coming off her, because she stinks. She broke up with me, didn't really tell me why. Luckily, when you're the guy, you can just tell people she's crazy. Hey, Tom, I heard you and Lucy broke up. Yeah, man, turns out she's crazy. That's what they always do on Entourage. Ron? I am submitting this menu from a Pawnee institution, JJ's Diner, home of the world's best breakfast dish, the four horse meals of the egg porkalypse. Wendy loves it, too. And I am submitting this. A brief history of everything that has ever happened since Pawnee was founded. Not like you get extra credit for this, but I did type it from memory. And for the first time ever compiled, it includes a complete list of every official town slogan we've ever had. Oh my god, that's late. I know. Can you believe that's it? That's crazy. Isn't it? Pawnee, the Paris of America. Pawnee, the Akron of Southwest Indiana. Pawnee, welcome German soldiers. After the Nazis took France, our mayor kind of panicked. Pawnee, the factory fire capital of America. Pawnee, welcome Vietnamese soldiers. Pawnee, engage with Zorp. For a brief time in the 70s, our town was taken over by a cult. Pawnee, Zorp is dead. Long live Zorp. Pawnee, it's safe to be here now. Pawnee, birthplace of Julia Roberts. That was a lie. She sued, and so we had to change it. Pawnee, home of the world famous Julia Roberts lawsuit. Pawnee, welcome Taliban soldiers. And finally, our current slogan, Pawnee, first in friendship, fourth in obesity. 
Okay, everybody, the Harvest Festival is tomorrow, and I am so proud of all of you. You've worked so hard, you're amazing. So I have a surprise, and it is possibly the best thing to potentially ever happen to anyone, anywhere in the history of the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Lil Sebastian. What? Yes! No. Oh my god! Hey. Hey. Oh my god! <laughs> I never thought oh I'd god. get to meet him! <laughs> Truly yeah. here! Well done, Leslie! Well done! <laughs> <laughs> Lil Sebastian made his debut at the Last Harvest Festival in 1987, and he was an instant phenomenon. For the next few years, Sebastian was the number one boy's name in Pawnee, and the number three girl's name. So what am I missing? What's the deal with this pony? He's not a pony, Ben. He's a mini horse. There's a big difference. Well, then why is he so famous? Does he do something? What does he do? Son, this horse has an honorary degree from Notre Dame. We all need to be very careful, okay? Remember, this little guy's 25 now, and he has cataracts in both eyes. He has severe arthritis. Jerry's gonna look after him. Yes, I am. We are both on the same diabetes medication. Are you my glue control buddy? <laughs> are you? Huh? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> yeah, I, I just gotta be honest. I don't know what the big deal is. Get out. I have some very important news about our favorite mini horse, Lil Sebastian. Yay! Lil Sebastian! Yay! He died last night. No! But we can take comfort in the fact that he's in heaven now, doing the two things he loves doing the most, eating carrots and urinating freely. When I walked in this morning and saw the flag was at half-mast, I thought, all right, another bureaucrat ate it. But then I found out it was little Sebastian. Half-mast is too high. Show some damned respect. Because of all he's done for the town, we are going to be holding a small memorial service for him. But for now, I think we should bow our heads in a moment of silence. <clears throat> I got it. Thank you. We're gonna have some fun today, Pawnee! Yeah! Who is ready to play 60? Yeah! Everybody on the field! The NFL has a campaign to try to get kids active for 60 minutes per day. And so we bust in 100 lucky little buggers from Pawnee, and they are gonna get a chance to play with the Colts. Oh! Come on, Reggie! I told you to run a button hook! I did, Leslie. Okay, I guess you would know. Pleasure to see you again, Mr. Luck. We met briefly last year at our friend's bachelor party. Oh, yeah, right. How are you? I normally don't answer that question, but since I respect your talent, I will tell you, I am fine. Hi, I'm April. I stole your wallet. You guys are weird. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, girl? Keep walking, 98. You don't want to talk to that guy? He plays in the NFL. He's a linebacker. Skill positions only for Don Amigo. I got my Colt beanie, my Colt scarf, I got the Colt's grill going, and the crown and glory, Colt slippies. How are you gonna run in those? <laughs> run, Tommy doesn't run. That's your guys' job. Now, uh, let's go fetch this football throw, fellas. I love sports. Run, we're back. Bully. The bankrupt government of Pawnee has been shut down all summer, so it's been three months of no work, no meetings, no memos, no late nights, nothing. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Oh, rounding up the team. So exciting. I have goosebumps. Feel. And that's why they call me Prince Charming, because I always find the glass slipper for my Cinderella. These are way too tight. Well, the real Cinderella didn't have hippo feet. Tom, we're back. Jeremy, suck it! By the way, I've been giving away free sports for us as a girl's a hot dog on a stick. Look, we can dance all day, but it's time to step up. Are you buying 4,000 rubber nipples from me or not? D, you have a visitor. We back? We're back. All right! Jerry. Oh my gosh, look who's here, Leslie. The nightmare's over, Jerry. We're going back to work. You're not gonna need this anymore. I called shotgun, everybody heard me. Okay, everybody, big, big news. 
Uh, Leslie, would you like to do the honors? No, I think you should deliver the news. Yeah, but you're the candidate. Yeah, but you're the brilliant campaign manager. But you're the cutest. I love you. I love you too. Hey, were you gonna tell us something? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, right. Um, the latest poll has us only two points behind Bobby Newport. Yeah. You guys, we only have one more day to close the gap, and we're gonna do so in a one-time campaign blitz aboard the SS Nope. Yeah. This is gonna be our home for the next 24 hours. And if we win, hopefully it will be the home that Ben and I share forever. Uh, what? This is an idea I had. We don't have to do it, whatever. We can talk about it. Okay, here we go. We've come so far. I want this so bad I can taste it. When I close my eyes, I can picture the flash of the cameras at my swearing in. And I can hear the sound of the applause when I take my oath. And I can see in the crowd, President Obama smiling at me. He made it. I didn't think he would come, but he made it. Hey, buddy. OK, time for gifts. We have gift certificates for facials for everybody. Then you are going to get a needlepoint pillow with your face on it and the lead headline from a newspaper on the day you were born. Joseph Stalin dies. That's right, Mom, and you replaced him. Not in terms of genocide, just in terms of, you know, being on Earth. February 14th, Valentine's Day, is about romance. <laughs> but February 13th, Galentine's Day, is about celebrating lady friends. It's wonderful, and it should be a national holiday. It should be a national holiday. Dear Congress, it's Leslie again. Let's talk about personal relationships. Who wants to start? Donna? I have several men in rotation. One's waiting for me out in the car. <laughs> Don't worry, roll down the window. April, you're the old married broad here. How's Andy? Well, last week, he was supposed to buy gas, but instead he bought novelty cookie cutters. Now everything we eat is shaped like a dinosaur. <laughs> He's amazing. Great, and Mom, how's it going with Stephen? Well, I met him on the internet because of my lovely daughter, and we are compatible. La, 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 la. OK, no, 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 no. Anne, can you start talking? Well, I'm, a, I'm, I'm in a bit of a lull right now, but I'm so glad that you all have people in your lives that you care about, so congrats. It's really hard to say congrats without sounding sarcastic. Seriously, I really hope you guys are all very happy. Damn it. We are. Hey, hey guys, listen, uh, Leslie's gonna walk in and say something that sounds very boring, but is actually a really big deal, so when I give the signal, just everybody cheer like crazy. Here we go. Well. Someone just officially enrolled in the Senior Executive Service Development Candidate Program at the Department of the Interior. Hooray! Yeah. Surprise! Thanks. It's a big deal. So, my promotion is official. We need to find a place in D.C. because we're going to be splitting our time. I guess now is as good a time as any to make my announcement. Joe and I just closed on a house in Seattle. Oh, oh my God! Oh. Cheers. Well, actually, I have an announcement, too. After all these years in government, I've decided to finally retire. This is about people who are moving, Gary. Not everything is about you. Good point. Everyone's scattering. Well, look at it this way. Bad news comes in threes, right? We're leaving, April and Andy are leaving, Donna's leaving. That's three. Also, I'm retiring. That's three, Gary. But we're probably due for some good news. Good evening. I come to you tonight with some good news. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's not a sentence I will be saying to you right now, because beloved Pawnee Mayor Walter Gunderson has died. Well, you jinxed us, Gary. Thanks a lot. OK, here's the situation. Your parents went away on a week's vacation. They left the keys to the brand new Porsche. But they ain't mine. Hmm. Well, of course not. I'll just take it for a little spin and maybe show it off to a couple of friends. I'll just cruise around the neighborhood. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, of course I should. Pay attention, here's the thick of the plot. I pulled up to the corner at the end of my block. That's when I saw this beautiful girly girl walking. I picked up my car phone to perpetrate like I was talking. The sunroof was open, the music was high, and that girl's hand was steadily moving up my thigh. She had opened up three buttons on her shirt so far. I guess that's why I didn't notice that police car. I can't believe it. I made a mistake. My parents are the same, no matter time nor place. So to all you kids all across the land, no need to argue, parents just don't understand. All right. Thank you, thank you. Just a little something I know. So what's up? Uh, someone is on fire in Ramsett Park. They need you to get down there right away. Oh, my God. 
We now go live to Councilman Bill Dexhart, who's giving a press conference about his sex scandal. You are getting a rare glimpse at this exclusive government-only event. Each December, one department puts on a show that spoofs what happened in our town. Prepare to laugh your asnoff. <laughs> Sid Asnoff is a former city councilman. Some of the jokes are sort of inside. Councilman Dexhart, you're involved in yet another scandal? That's crazier than Mayor Gunderson's dog, Rufus. <laughs> yes, there is a new one, and it's a doozy. I don't want to go into the details, but let me just say that it involves multiple women, a love child, nurses, rabbis, priests. Well, I hope you can all join me in my fundraiser tonight. I am being supported, of course, by the Glitter Factory and 1-800-MATTRESS. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Pawnee is a city that ain't very pretty and good government is our goal. We may not be big and our mayor wears a wig, but at least the raccoon infestation is under control. It's the most wonderful time.